Yochini, yeah. which of Wepini mm. the second, uh, is actually described as madness. Uh, the rate at which the level of corruption in the country mm. described it as madness. And he's urging the leaders and Ghanaians in general uh, to be generational thinkers, in quotes, uh, generational thinkers whose actions are geared towards securing the welfare of future generations rather than being uh, serving their parochial interests. I, Speaking I, of corruption, I, I, I agree with him mm. perfectly. I, I was I was going to Fred. Uh, no, anyway. I think he had the whole. Day. I was watching the time. <laughs> I was going to Fred. I, I, I know you're so. I don't know Fred why. Will, let me let. Uh, maybe no, this, but the this host matter. He said I don't want He's to going to shield it. Wait a minute. Fred, shield it. Do 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 a line too. No, just mm. allow me. You okay. Come. Mm. So, I I agree with Oche Hene perfectly. Describes it as madness. Madness. Yes, I agree with him. Mm. Like you also I, describe I it as would, madness? Of course, I describe, I did even beyond madness. Beyond madness, word, which yeah, word would you use? Adjective, of course, I will, I would, uh, maybe you have to borrow me some adjectives <laughs> if you want to. You see, I want to think that corruption is at his unbearable peak in this country right now. Mm. With my brother, we agree, and I will agree. Today, we are told of construction going on at circle. We have a company in this country, with names will not be mentioned anyway, who are supposed to be suppliers to the construction at the circle of iron rods and other things. We are told per the design that the iron rods that is supposed to be supplied is supposed to last us about 100 years. Today, mm. I am saying it with all certainty that we have a company supplying iron rods that is going to last it for 30 years. So you allow him to say this? Wait a minute, wait a minute, no, I'll go no, on. Hold on, no, hold on. I'll have my reason, I'll Come tell on, you. Yes. Corruption is what I was just about, about. Uh, yes, coming to so, so you, I, you, with you putting out this information seems to suggest that you yes. have some uh, evidence to back Of course, I have saying. a lot. That's you what do. I'm saying that. I do. I do. I will, will you be and willing to share with us? I'll go on to say it. Yes, of course, I'll be able to do it. Go ahead. You see, I am saying that. I am saying that we should go out there. That's what I pointed out. Go out there and ensure that the work that is being done for Ghana, Ghanaians must not be shortchanged. Mm. If you are told to bring something that will last for 100 years, then bring something that will last for 100 years. Which, 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 which company is bringing I, us I, the... I, 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 well, there's a work going on. I think we'd have to reserve my no, comments. No, no, but, 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 but no, but see, no, 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 see, no, come on in, come on in, come on in, hold on, come on in, hold on, 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 we all know the construction work is ongoing. Yes, yes. We all know uh, they are procuring yeah, things. Very good. Which we all hope will last us yeah. 100 years, yes. as you mentioned earlier. Very good. So if you then come in mm. and tell us mm. that whatever whatever is being built is going to last for 100 years. So you are just nice suspicious, suspicious, suspicious of something. I have my nice suspicion, suspicion of the hundred years. No, initially, no, initially I, 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 I am telling you that. But I then, then, you. then you might have well, to let's go. Let's go. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm still on it anyway. <laughs> Except to say that if you want me to expatiate more on it, you should. It's where you should. the difficulty will have to. Uh, <laughs> so if, if, if you are unable to expatiate more, let's go. Then we might have to drop that. Let's put that aside. So you have lied. What is important? No, so you have lied. So I promise you, let's go. He has lied. So, so he has lied. So he has lied. So he has lied. So he has lied. We have a construction mm. going on. Mm. Which construction is supposed not to shortchange Ghanaians? But if anything, of course, is done pointing to the fact that we are being shortchanged, then, of course, for me, I see it as an act of corruption and bad. Again, today, as we sit in this country, you have companies that, of course, are given the opportunity all the time at the expense of other companies. And given and paid out monies to do their work. Which companies are you referring to? Supposed to do. For example, we have given monies to people at Suba to do some work. And of course, GRA will come and tell that the work, of course, we keep paid money all right, but the work was not done the way we have to do it. And I'm thinking that it's not proper. GDA, we have given out monies to people that we think that they should have done XYZ. They haven't done it. It's not proper. Okay? We sit here today and we know what is happening also at. Um, you know, um, the Brazilian commission that we heard it, that someone has been tasked to go and work in Brazil and help us, and this is how, the, 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 how far they have brought us, and our money it's, has gone down the drain. A whole lot of issues. Okay. This is the point I'm making. A whole lot of issues, which my brother also will agree with me, that yes, indeed, corruption is at its highest peak in this country. Is the problem perceived corruption or corruption itself? <laughs> oh, no, no, we've gone beyond perce perce perception. It's not a perception. Because from what you just said, you, you, you perceive corruption ongoing. 
Is it corruption has always been perceived anyway, but we, we have moved from perception to reality now. Isn't it a fact that someone is in court by their own self? That you've taken money that doesn't belong to you? Isn't it the fact that the money has been paid to someone and we call it a mistake? Isn't it the fact that, yes, indeed, Suba issue is in there, isophotone is there? Isn't it the fact that someone has gone to court and the court says pay some money? These are not perceptions. So, so, so could it be possibly because, let me come to first, could, could it be possibly because uh, the government is the government is trying so hard to expose corruption because the president mentioned that uh, his <laughs> first step towards fighting corruption is exposing it. Could it be the the case that because we are exposing it so much, people think the government is corrupt? My brother, let me commend you highly this morning that mm -hmm. you have assisted our viewers by exposing the very dangerous lies, <laughs> and dangerous falsehood that my brother almost threw into the into the air when it suggested that somebody has procured. Iron rods that will last a project for 30 years instead of 100 years. Mm. God bless you mm. that you have been exposing him this morning and disgracing him, <laughs> even though he refused to retract and apologize. So, so you can well, move right, to the let me, let, let, you can history. move to the substantive issue now. <laughs> let, me, let me proceed. You see, mm. I think that I am on the same line with uh, Washington. And the one who has described corruption in East West terms for me is the president of the Republic of Ghana today when he said it's a mass murder. The corruption is mass murder. And, and, I and, that, and, and he's overseeing it. That's, the, that's, I, the, that's I, I, the assumption. I thought that that is a man who has, has demonstrated his dislike for corruption. You asked a question earlier whether corruption is a perception or it's, a real, it's real. You see, there's something that is wrong with us. Mm. You know what corruption hates most? What corruption hates most is sunshine. When you can expose it. And the best way any leader can fight corruption is when the leader can look in the face of everybody and say, it doesn't matter who you are and where you belong to. I will set up, investigate, and punish. That is a leader who is determined and prepared to fight corruption. Hmm. We are told about what happened in national service today. The it took the president of the Republic of Ghana to say that somebody had informed me someone is going on at national service. BNI, can he move in and investigate and bring the report to me? BNI, move in. They investigated, brought the report. The president caused the report to be made public. And the persons culpable, as we speak today, they are going through all manner of investigations, mm -hmm. waiting for uh, to be uh, prosecuted. That's a president who is fighting corruption. He mentioned JIDA, National Youth Employment Authority. We have lived in this country where presidents have told us before that, well, we don't have to fight corruption for allegations of corruption, media allegations, and destroy his government. He's not going to follow that and destroy his government. That every blessed day people come to him to come and tempt him with corruption. Sometimes he pins himself to remind himself of the oath he took. Mm. That is not going to be uh, culpable. But this is a president who said, Minister of Israel Sport, I've heard some allegations under uh, Jida. Please set up a committee, investigate it. When the report was submitted to him, they gave to advice to look through because there are two aspects of the report. That was the criminal aspect and that which has to do with the uh, restructuring of the whole entire institution. When all was said and done, the information was put in the public domain. Today, as we speak, mm. members of his own government are in court. They are facing trial over certain The first time Ghana qualified to the World Cup was in 2006. Mm. Senior World Cup, what I mean. We went and came back. Ghana got to the second uh, uh, stage, second round of the tournament. We came back, we celebrated and gave heroes welcome to our players, gave them the highest award of the land. Nobody set up any investigation mechanism to find out what happened at the World Cup. Mm. We went in 2010, we came back, we got to the quarter final, almost at the semi finals. Everybody was happy, we were celebrating, and that was it all. 2014 went to the World Cup. So, the team didn't so, so perform to you, very well. What, what the saying president came that. back and said, Listen, what, 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 even when FIFA mm, had written, uh, even when uh, GFA had said, No, you can't investigate that, the president said, No, we want to know. We want to find out what happened. Set up a committee, put on national television, let Ghanaians watch. Can you sit here and accuse a president like that or a government like that of not fighting corruption? So the government is fighting corruption. Jesus Christ. Mm. I think that yeah. the, 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 the good people of this country are, are the judge. Okay. You Fred, know what? Agbenyo, your Fred, Fred Agbenyo you know what? is the deputy national <laughs> communications director of the ruling NDC. Uh, we also had in the studio <laughs> Kamal Dean Abdullah. He's the Nasara uh, coordinator of the New Patriotic Party. They joined us on AM talk. Uh, we'll be moving to my banner pretty shortly with Aisha Ibrahim, but just before that, uh, we'll get you Robin today. And today on Robin, uh, we are talking about something very interesting. We are taking a, a look at the year 2014. We are reviewing the year. Uh, so just hold on. We'll be with you shortly. <laughs> 